Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today we got our hands on the brand new AKA Terry Bradshaw. And of course, make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I will fill out Terry Bradshaw's final report. And yes, good morning. I literally just rolled out of bed. EA decided to drop this card at 10 30 today instead of 1 30. Who knows why, but here we are. Terry Bradshaw um, is in our hands now. 78 speed, 70 acceleration, so definitely more of a pocket guy with that acceleration. If he had acceleration to match the speed, this card might be able to roll out pretty well, but um, I felt it for the first time on the Jameis Winston card. Acceleration does matter as far as rolling out, but good accuracy stats, good throw power. I um, mean, this is probably what Aaron Rodgers' stats maybe should have looked like to me, but you know, it is what it is. I think his throw power was too low, but Terry Bradshaw 91 throw power is really nice. However, again, on these pocket quarterbacks, EA is not giving them any abilities that really make them worth it over a guy like Vic or Warren Moon. Who knows? Maybe Terry Bradshaw's release will be really nice. We're going to test that out in practice mode. But, you know, it is what it is. Here are the abilities that he does get protected, I guess, is decent. But, you know, if you are running gift wrapped, normally, the you know, normally if you are using gift wrapped, the cheapest setup besides one AP, if you want to use another ability, is three AP. But with his X Factor Pro reads, I mean, I think it's probably worth running because usually people have like a two AP slot apprentice, maybe like a two AP jukebox and then two AP on their quarterback. So you can use gift wrapped and pro reads um, for just two AP on Terry Bradshaw, which is actually a big W. So yeah, abilities, they're okay. You know, standard for, I guess, a pocket quarterback right now, uh, but also pro reads is really nice too and a good build and good stats and good physicals or decent physicals. But yeah, let's hop into practice mode and let's see what release they gave Terry Bradshaw. The shout out of the day today goes to my man T.E. Andy for commenting the emoji of the day on last video. And if you want a chance to be shouted out in the next one, let's comment the car emoji. Comment the car emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. Okay, so according to Mutt.gg, he has traditional two, which I'm pretty sure is actually a pretty decent release. Um, that was it kind of short to mid. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that traditional two is one of the faster releases in this game. Um, it doesn't look that fast. I will say it looks pretty slow getting the ball out. And I wish that mud.gg was like they had like it all updated, which you know, with who has what release, so we, I can kind of compare and remember. But they unfortunately don't. Let me see how this looks. I mean, deep doesn't look bad, it kind of has a little bit of a flick in it. But traditional two, obviously, I still prefer slinger releases. I feel like it has that extra flick. I mean, it's very rare where I will say I'd like a generic. I mean, I guess Gen 3 has always been decent and smooth, but traditional two, it, I mean. It looks pretty solid. We got to see how it kind of plays in game, but I think it has decent potential. Would have loved to have seen this release with Gunslinger. I think, it, I think this is like a really good Gunslinger release because of how it just, you can kind of tell, like if that was sped up a little bit, that would look really snappy, almost like a Slinger release in a way. So let's hop into the gameplay and let's see what Terry Bradshaw can do today. One, one, one more. Yeah, that looks a little bit slow. Okay, yeah, we'll see. All right, let's hop into the game. All right, here we go. We got game number one with Terry Bradshaw. And I, I kind of like today's AKA drop. I'm happy that they didn't go one offense, one defense as well today. Uh, you know, it would have been cool, but them putting an offensive lineman in kind of would have sucked. And I wish they would go back to the one LTD, um, you know, them having one L LTD per week. Let's throw the swing pass. And again, I'm, not used to, <laughs> I'm actually not used to using a righty. Uh, I just realized that. He's running cover four, so we should be okay to run this. But uh, okay. Let's start throwing some dots here, man. We good old Terry Bradshaw. We have also quick reads. Quick reads. We can see who's open. So I don't have to. If I throw a pick this gameplay, it's all on me. It's all on me. We should have him wide open. Cut, cut that upfield. And there we go. Wow. Good tackle animation. A very good tackle animation right there. I'm actually going to flip this. We'll streak Garrett Wilson. And it'll look something like that. I don't like running this as much to this side like this, but we'll put him on the curl too just to see. What the user's gonna do and we should get yep there we go calvin johnson's open good ball right there from terry bradshaw you love to see it and i do think right now there is an issue with pocket quarterbacks in this game if the pocket quarterbacks aren't even gonna be able to get gunslinger or kind of even have their own like like early game somewhat exclusive ability i'm not sure what the point of them is you know i guess even if you like playing from the pocket you could argue that the you know the the the, the guys actually had to be open no i didn't no i didn't okay good thing i didn't throw that good thing i did not throw that because I think his user could have got back to that. That was a little bit scary there. I won't lie, but maybe there's a chance. Maybe there, maybe there's a chance. I don't know. All right, motion over Tyree kill. See, he's, he's, he's gonna be in cover four. I have to assume, right? So I'm just gonna run this play. And we should have Gronk open. Go ahead and get it there, Terry. Way to be. Cub field. There we go. Out of boy, Terry. 
All right, when in doubt, you hop into stock verticals and see what you can do. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Stock verts. Here we go. And I, I, I don't want to throw that ball to Gronk, but maybe I could have. May have to go to a run here just because I don't, I don't have enough time to really do what I want here. But Garrett Wilson should actually be open here because of how he re. Oh my God. Okay, that was way closer than I thought. What, what played that? A vert hook? Did a vert hook really play that like that? That's crazy. All right, should be cover four again. And instead of putting Gronk on the crosser as our flood concept read, we're also, we're also going to put Calvin on that read just so he doesn't see it. Okay, he's playing that guy underneath. I think it's cover two now. Decent pocket, but I mean, maybe I had Gronk open. Maybe that looked to be covered. That was not covered. Okay, he must be adjusting because that was not covered two at all. All right, let's go with Bunch Trail here. Maybe we can get Gronk open kind of late. Gronk, oh boy, I did not see that guy. Go make a play, Gronk. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. See, the fact I haven't really... I'm going to throw this ball to Garrett because he's adjusting. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, there we go. All right, I had a feeling. He's just running cover four and putting the outside guy into a curl flat, I guess, is what he's doing, which didn't work. We do get it there right there with Terry. And again, you don't need the ability to run. You don't need it if it goes like that. I just think there's, there, there, are, there are those plays where having the ability to run your quarterback is nice. It, it just is nice to have, you know? And if you have a quarterback that can move but also can play well from the pocket then why not have both? You know, why why pick one? That's the way I look at it right now. But, you know, Terry played well there. A release, didn't really feel any problems with it yet. Um, and I don't think I will. It actually feels pretty solid. All right, here we go. My opponent's got George Pickens. He's got Darren Waller. He's got, who's 84? Who's 84? He goes to end around Jalen Hyatt. Okay, okay, go, go crazy, go crazy. Hit stick, okay, good job. Just get a first down on that play. Hopefully that's on Jukebox, Bo Jackson. Shannon Sharp over the top. And we do pick that one off right there with Deion Sanders. You, we love to see that. A little skip. Okay, let's see if he stays in the game. Yeah, it looks like he's man-to-man -man coverage. And we should. Oh, never mind. Okay, he got bounced. I would love to run here with Terry, but... Okay, that yeah, was probably my bad. I <laughs> Maybe I should just stay up the middle there, but I saw Micah Parsons in LT, and I was feeling like Zach Wilson yesterday, man. The way that Micah Parsons was is killing him, bro. And DB Fire 2, not ideal, but, you know, it is what it is. He runs it again, of course. And we should have... Okay, never mind. I... I literally blocked. I max protected there. Nothing more I could do. Nothing more I could do, and he still gets a free runner. All right. Well, I have not seen much DB Fire 2 this year. And once we were kind of behind the sticks, we were screwed. So let's let's try to get another stop and try to get at least one more good drive with Terry Bradshaw. So the first drive went well. He started blitzing me, and it all kind of fell apart. Um, yeah. Underneath, we should be... Okay. Okay, then. All right. I was hoping, like, a KO would happen, but instead... All right. All right. Okay. All right, let's go with the RPO here. He's playing off coverage, so I'm not going to throw that. Okay, that did not work at all. Dude, we had success on the first drive, and now, like, nothing I'm running is at all getting open. And I feel like a, he's probably going to run that same blitz he ran last time. The cover two. We're probably chalked here. We're probably just chalked here, man, to be honest. We have the outside corner mic'd. I mean, theoretically, Calvin's going to get open. We're in the middle. Oh my god, there's no way Tyron Matthews. Did I have Tyreek for a touchdown? He wasn't. He wasn't at all. Okay, well. Alright, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This, this, this is frustrating me. I did this is so frustrating. We're gonna lock in. We're gonna put together a beautiful two-minute drill with Terry Bradshaw. And we're gonna walk out of here. We, we, like we, at least with a touchdown. We need one more TD. One more TD at least. Okay, Gronk's gonna get never mind. Gronk, okay, throw the ball away. I mean, Jesus. I mean, why like the zig's getting bagged. Everything's getting bagged right now. The in's getting bagged. I mean, what isn't getting bagged right now with this dude's man coverage? This dude's man coverage is the most baggy thing I've ever seen. Nothing is getting open at all. No, 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 no. Actually, nothing's getting open. I cannot believe what's happening right now. Okay, Gronk. Okay, now we get pressure. I mean, <laughs> dude, I don't have a chance. I don't have a chance. I actually don't have a chance against this at all. I'm going to mic the outside corner again. Maybe Gronk will pick him up. And we need we need Cal we need uh Bo to pick that guy up. What happened? And no, it gets beat again. I mean, this is unblockable. Never mind, it did not work. Okay, didn't did in fact oh he caught it. Wow, I okay, all right. Well, maybe the Madden gods are looking down on us today. Like in a million years. Okay, I, actually RPOs, RPOs, RPOs. RPOs are gonna feed families on this drive because this guy's just blitzing his zone blitz as well. So it should be okay. Never mind, we're not blocking that receiver. All right, all right, all right. Well, okay. All right, well, DB Fire 2 is still ridicul ridiculously good this year. Clearly. I, I, I don't, People aren't really running that this year. But the way it just, it's landing is crazy. The way it's landing is actually ridiculous. 
Here we go, runs it again, and I should have Tyreek actually open here. Good ball, there we go, some life. And thankfully he caught it as well, timeout. Th thank you, Tyreek, thank you, man. All right, max protect again. Here we go, what we want is Calvin on the corner route and uh, underthrown by Terry Bradshaw. Um, I tried passing that down, but instead it went up the field. Which, you love to see that. I mean, he went man-to-man -man coverage there, which I wasn't expecting, to be honest with you. But, yeah, when dude's base align, you're literally guessing. You're guessing based off tendency. I think base align's always pretty much the move. Um, this, he's probably back in DB5 or 2, though. If you're here, if I had to imagine. I have Gronk actually open. Good ball right there from Terry Bradshaw. Step up. Throw a dot. Had to find ourselves. Um, we're going to go for 2. And then we're going to head to the Terry Bradshaw final report. Um, you know, I... It, like when I was feeling myself, this card actually was playing pretty well. Um, I, I personally like that ability to skip the pocket. I personally know I'm not good enough at the game to completely rely on my pocket passing ability. Um, I know I'm not. Um, uh, if you believe you are, then maybe this guy could be for you. But again, if you're going to have a guy with speed and this and that, there's no reason for you to limit yourself. Um, that's why I look at it. And they're, you're telling me B was open there? Come on, game. Uh, Terry, go make a play, man. Okay. Okay. All right, we lost our buttons. Terry, make a tackle, man. Terry, show them how they used to do it back in your day, Terry. Terry, oh, Terry got pan... All right, Terry, okay. Okay, all right, Terry got pancaked. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, I'll see you boys in the final report, man. <laughs> okay, for Terry Bradshaw's final report, I'm gonna give Terry 18 stars. Four stars for physical because of the speed and the acceleration. The throw power does keep it out of four because those are normally three-star physicals, but with the throw power, it does lift it. Stats, obviously give me a five. Abilities, the lack of a gunslinger or some kind of, you know, better, you know, dead eye or something like that for a pocket passer. I think he's missing that. And then for animations, I actually do like his release a lot. I went into practice mode even after um, the game you just saw, and I just wanted to make sure that it was really what I liked. And I, I like the release. I think it's right up there with Slinger 1. Um, it's actually more consistent, I'd say, than Slinger 1. Slinger 1, you sometimes you're throwing the ball and it comes out a little bit slow. But I would say that this release is a like more consistent um, Slinger 1. Is it as fast? I don't think so, but it's definitely... Um, more consistent you're getting more consistent speed out of it so i'm gonna go 18 stars for terry bradshaw let me know if, you're, if you are picking up terry bradshaw today going for about 500k um more like six actually more like more like 600k his price will probably drop more but let me know if you're picking up terry bradshaw and as always i'll see you boys in the next one